It's no secret that the UK is currently going through a significant housing crisis. We're lagging behind other countries in terms of construction productivity, and there's a major skill shortage to address. It's now time to find some solutions, one of which could be off-site manufacturing. I'm here at Future Build 2019 to find out whether it is the answer to our problems. I think one of the main benefits of off-site manufacturing is that a lot of the issues and errors we get in trying to produce low energy buildings um, are automatically dealt with. Problems with quality of materials, problems with materials being placed in the right place, substitution of materials on site at the last minute, all that is, is dealt with before it even arrives on site. The other big one is air tightness. It's quite difficult to get right on site. Um, if you're manufacturing off site, the air tightness layer can be properly designed, it can be in the, the, the panels so that 90% of the air tightness layer is already there and you've, you've, you've got three quarters of your low energy building already done. One other benefit I see is the reducing of the performance gap as we can control the building process of site better than on site. That is obviously reducing the chance of error. You don't need to train and skill, obviously, and control people. Are they really following up their processes, the job on site? It's easier to do it, obviously, off site. Off site manufacturing isn't actually a new thing in, in the construction industry. It's been around for a long time. Um, back at the beginning of the 21st century, I was involved with housing associations who were looking at off site manufacture for building small units of housing uh, across East Anglia. The challenges are still there and it'd be interesting to see whether the technology has actually become aware of those and can address them today. I think off-site manufacturing in the UK at the moment is um, embryonic. A number of people are looking at it, but it's, it's really got to um, prove itself before it's in, in, taken up at scale. And the problem is that at the moment it's the cost, the overall costs are, are higher than your typical build techniques. Now that may well change because that's driven by labour costs and material costs um, and it's also driven by adoption at scale. So if we get past the, the sort of early adopters curve which you see in any industry then we will see I think modern measures off-site construction coming forward as being equivalent or even cheaper which is you know what they should be in the long run than, than building on site. It's a challenge. It's a really complicated sector. I think we all love to think of it as a really complicated sector as well. It's full of different actors, different clients, who is the customer in a construction business. It's very difficult um, to deal with. And I think offsite is going to drive a lot of disruption in traditional supply routes. So I think we have to accept that this is going to disrupt things, look at what the opportunities are rather than the negative sides and see and get involved. And how can we play a role helping to see how we can achieve uh, the desired outcomes from a more modular or off-site approach to construction? So you can think about using technologies track and trace. You can think about technologies of uh, digital signatures, sign off, digital unique identifiers. So the entire life cycle and the idea of circular economy with actually the, uh, yeah, the off-site is kind of playing uh, quite nicely together. The digitalization of construction is absolutely at the heart of the change in the drive to DFMA off-site and pre-manufactured um, products. That rules-based design approach is now being utilized on schools, being utilized for hospitals, being utilized for, for residential, mid-rise, high-rise, low-rise. Um, it's going to come into all aspects of construction. And I think that's going to make, a, again, another sort of exponential increase in, in productivity and improvements and, and ability for people to really get the outcomes from uh, construction that they want to achieve. I think off-site is a, is a real solution to the housing crisis. The houses were, are going to be produced in the factory, so you've got the, the quality control, you will be able to produce them at a set rate, taken to site at a set time. The house will be installed in a day, so you go from foundation to complete structure in a day. Then that reduces the need for certain trades, which is where part of this issue is. So it's just getting people into that frame of mind and start creating something that says something about each community.